doesn't know any of these people. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! What's going on? Smile for the camera. Took a minute. Why do you have the world's funniest home videos? Is that why we were going to Michigan? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. Not now. I don't care. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, anyway. When did you get here? Yeah, we figured that until you. About an hour or two ago. I'm me. I'm sat and telling her. We knew about it. I told you not to tell her about what it was. Because Brian was calling me in New York. Yeah, but then I told her, then Candace said, then Candace said, um, nobody thought I would hear from, her, from him for three days because... Oh, that's right. You went to the brewing cup. You mean you wanted to? Yep. You got him. I would have made sure she came home earlier if I would have known. No, we wanted to be surprised. We need to keep a secret. I would have. I would have. I would have. I would have. I, I, I used to keep secrets from mom all the time. Why do you listen? Why do you listen? It'd be a surprise for all of you guys. Mom, that's so cool. Cool. What is that? It's an Afghanistan hat. It is. It's an Afghanistan hat. That's cool. cool. Person, that is right? really cool. This is more upstairs. So when did you get here? I got here. Oh, wow. Really? Like, round four. Four, yeah. Oh, okay. Five, four, five. Okay. Did like, you see what I got? Logan, I want a hug from him. Oh. On the fridge. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she saw, oh. she saw it, yeah. He did? What'd you think of the little cups? That's cool. They're made out of peanuts. <laughs> you just got a twelve pack? Last night, when a 10 year old Henry Denis came off the ice after a flag ceremony before a hockey game, and he was surprised. You hear that scream? He's surprised by his dad home from Iraq earlier. 
Colonel Rick Denny surprised their 13-year-old daughter. The Washington Capitals helped arrange this entire thing. I could watch this like you guys I know over and that. <laughs> okay, I need it's a tissue. I am way too emotional. I know. <laughs> wow. I know. The screen. It's great, oh. isn't it? moment this is. Moments ago, the surprise. A touching reunion down on the field. Sergeant Mark Foster of the 101st Airborne Division, recently deployed in Afghanistan, reunited with his wife, Jody. special spirit day guys listen carefully y'all all realize that those kids picked there was something crazy going on they're my kids and they're miss better's kids but then the other three their dad this is for them their dad has been fighting in afghanistan he came home last night and they don't know it they have not seen their dad in over a year guys this is a big deal. You cannot say anything. So here's what's going to happen. We're going to play minute to win it. My kids are going to lose. Miss Vetter's kids are going to lose. And the prize is going to be dad. So you have got to be quiet, okay? Okay. So we've got to act normal, okay? Can we act normal? Yeah! All right, let's give a big round of applause to our minute to win it contestants as they come back in. Can we get, let's clap for them. lot about waiting waiting and waiting and waiting the anticipation waiting for my wife Althea the angst oh come on Taylor and the joy <gasps> get over here and hug me oh my god when the moment arrives <laughs> come on. 
pretty much day by day. Lieutenant Jason Walter. I don't think I've ever been this nervous in my life. Of the Colorado Army National Guard. I'm shaking pretty good. <laughs> he's trained to be ready. I'm ready for this. He's been preparing for a while. It's from my informant who's on the same plane. It says, just touch down. Today. We've been together almost four years. It's time. His time. We just hit it off right away. Their time. Their moment. It's like I'm dreaming right <laughs> I miss you so much. Hey. Right, I love you. I love you too. You're my best friend, and I love oh you more God. than uh, love you more than anything in the oh world. Oh my God! Are you serious? Will you marry me? Life is a lot about waiting. I love you, Jason, I love you too. so much. <laughs> <laughs> the excitement. <laughs> I never thought it would happen. <laughs> the joy. I guess the most important things that I remembered to go to my knee. And the anticipation of what's next. <laughs> You're so awesome. I love you, babe. With photojournalist Chris Hansen, <laughs> Anastasia Bolton. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> Nine News. There are no limits. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding so hard. I no limits to what parents will do for their children. My name is Kathy Chandler, and my husband is Sergeant First Class Daryl Chandler. When war has split the family. My husband's been gone for nine months. Today he's coming home from Afghanistan. When children are fighting their own war of loneliness back home. The boys have been taking this pretty hard. Their boys, ages seven and three. The boys are not here at the airport with their mom and friends for their father's arrival. He's coming. Kathy and Daryl Chandler know that as much as they've missed each other, <laughs> their boys have missed him with the fathomless depth of the child's heart. So Kathy and Daryl did this for their boys. Kathy told seven-year-old Cole and three-year-old Aiden, that they could enter a contest, and the winner would get a visit from a Power Ranger. And this is the entry Cole wrote. He said, I should have a superhero come to my class because I've been stressed out lately, and my dad is at war in Afghanistan. If the Red Ranger came to my class, that would make my day. And he won. <laughs> of course, there was only one entry in the contest, and Kathy was the judge. He knows where his stress is coming from. He knows that what he's doing as a military kid is a hard job. And the fact that he touches that um, makes me as a mom just so much more compassionate for him and all the struggles that he's going through. And of course, Cole was surprised and excited when he found out that he won and the Power Rangers showed up. And of course, he would soon find out who the superhero was underneath the Power Rangers mask. <laughs> it's, it's been hard. It's been hard on, on especially the older one. Army Sergeant First Class Daryl Chandler and Kathy Chandler know that someday the boys will understand that what their parents hope they are giving them is bigger than a surprise homecoming, that their sacrifice and service is giving them their future. You for your country, knowing that hopefully that what I'm doing today, it's something they won't have to go through and to give them a better life for it, that's what I do it for. There are no limits to what parents will do for their children. In Stockbridge, John Shearick, 11 Alive News. There you go. Okay, that's a really good shot. That's really good.
Okay. <laughs> Karen's right. Um, this was awesome! Yep, yeah, it was. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's amazing. Wait till dad. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, my flight got in around 10. Oh, you should have called. No, she shouldn't have. That was worth it. Yes. That, was that was totally was... worth it. Oh. Okay, we need to find a way to get that in because the back is pretty full. Okay. And I'm going to pause to stop the video now. Okay.